I gotta say that again. All right, let's get started on this recipe. To use your leftover turkey meat. Oh, uh, yep, that's it. Let's see, enchilada sauce. There was a park that I frequented in my youth called Sacagawea. We just called it Sac. Okay. Hi, pals. I'm Bjorn, and this is the Cub Kitchen. Cup Kitchen is a show where I do easy recipes in my underwear. It's November. This is the 5th November, so I had to do one more November. Uh, I'm wearing the Bearskin Bear Hunter Boxer Briefs, available at bearskin.com. If you want to get these awesome boxer briefs. Uh, I'm still doing turkey recipes, but since it's the 5th November of the month of November, <laughs> I thought I'd switch it up and do a leftover turkey enchilada. Today, we're doing a Midwestern style leftover turkey enchiladas. Let's get started. So, to do this recipe, you need a couple of tools. You're gonna need a skillet, a casserole pan dish, an oven, you're gonna need a strainer, and a stove top. That's it. That's all you need for tools. For the ingredients that you're gonna need, you're gonna need leftover turkey, a can of black beans, a can of enchilada sauce, sliced American cheese, tortillas. You don't have to do this, you can use cooked or uncooked tortillas. I'm gonna use uncooked tortillas. Ground cumin, about two teaspoons, and canola oil or some kind of cooking oil. Oh, and you need a sharp cheddar. I think that's it, that's all I'm putting in there. All right, let's get started on this recipe. I love enchiladas, so. First thing you wanna do is you wanna preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Preheating, okay. All right, since I'm using uncooked tortillas, that's the first thing we gotta do. So we gotta cook our tortilla. Tortilla land, fresh and uncooked tortillas. To make these, it's not too difficult. You just, they're just kind of doughy. So you just use like a medium heat in a pan. It's just dry. You just put it in there and you cook it till it's a little cooked on each side. While I get my first tortilla going, let's get our pan ready to go. I'm gonna take the a little bit of oil just to kind of prevent it from sticking. Not too much, about a teaspoon or dime size, whatever, quarter. A uh, Susan B. Anthony size amount. <laughs> Full discretion, I don't know how big that is. You wanna do like a Sacagawea coin size amount of oil in your pan. Sacagawea? I grew up in Montana and I just mispronounced, mispronounced Sacagawea. I just think it's funner to say it that way, Sacagawea. She's really inspirational. Big part of my life inspiration, that Sacagawea. And then you're gonna take some of your enchilada sauce and we're gonna put it at the bottom. Some of it, not all of it, just a little bit of it. Get that all spread around. It just looks like that in the bottom. Just gotta cook all these tortillas. I'm left-handed, so we're gonna take each tortilla in each one, put a little bit of turkey. I'm using dark meat. You can use light meat, whatever. I had dark meat. So, black beans. Oh, and the black beans, you gotta rinse them and strain them. I didn't show that, but. A little pinch of cumin on there. A slice of American cheese. That's the Midwestern part. And this one's easy because you just roll it up. Throw it in the sauce, just like that. I'm gonna do that with each one. Now that you got those all rolled up, I actually only had room for seven. I'm gonna take the shredded cheddar cheese and sprinkle it on top. I like to go heavy on the cheese and kind of light on the sauce so that you get a little bit of a crispy thing going on. Nice layer of cheese. I'm not gonna use the whole two cups. I'm gonna use about, about a cup, cup and a half of cheese. And you take the rest of your enchilada sauce, just kind of pour it on top of the cheese so it's smothered. Make sure they all have sauce on them. These smell really good, you guys. Your oven should be preheated to the 375 from when we started, if you were listening. We're gonna put it into our oven for 20 minutes. Okay guys, see you in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. Time to take out your enchiladas out of the oven. Uh, you'll check them, make sure they're kind of crispy on the outside, just like on the edges, and that's how you know that they're done. All of the turkey should be cooked, so it's just about getting that crispy outer shell going. Looking good. There's our enchiladas. I'm gonna let that cool off and then you can eat it. There you have it. The Midwestern style leftover turkey enchilada. Oh yeah, look at that. Dose. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Those are really good, you guys. I recommend it. Make them use that leftover turkey for some good. All right, pals, that's it for this week. Go down to bearskin.com, the website, and get yourself some underwears. There's lots of boxer briefs. We've got some new stuff coming out soon, so keep looking out for that. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure and check out my other videos here and here. Like in my other videos. <laughs> like in them. Oh, I have to thank Bearskin for providing wardrobe for this week's Cub Kitchen video. It was really comfortable. Thank you guys so much for watching the Cub Kitchen. I'm Bjorn. See you later. Bye.